right, we are ready, but before we continue, is Charlotte in the house? Yeah, where's Mama Charlotte? Charlotte Weisner, are you in the house? Are you around? Just, just wave your hand if you're here. Wave your hand in the air like you just don't care. Oh! Alright, we're gonna hold it down. We're gonna hold it down just for you. These boy is here just for you. Yeah! Come on, Mama Charlotte. Where you at? Do, 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 do. So how y'all feeling today? Woo! This is really rad. Are we videoing it? Is somebody videoing it? Everyone? Because usually my dad comes with me everywhere. And he has ever since I was born. And he lives in Florida. Usually he'd be here with his video cameras filming everything and being here with us. But he, was, he couldn't come today. So you all have to be my dad for me. And my mama in video. <laughs> Because I think it's really special to be here with y'all. You know, I flew all the way across the country. I haven't slept yet. Um, I came from WonderCon yesterday, which is one of the biggest Comic Cons in the whole world. Woo! And I brought back some Teen Titans Go to the Movie posters for y'all to have. I'm signing them at my booth over there after this. And some Teen Titans Go um, TV show posters as well. And, it's exciting to have this movie uh, coming up around the corner. Y'all gonna come see it July 27th in theaters. Teen Titans go to the movies. Woo! Are you? When I say Teen Titans, you say go. Teen Titans, go. Teen Titans, go. That's what's up. We got some good cosplay. How many Beast Boys we got in here? Raise your hand. We got one Beast. We got one Beastie. How many Ravens? Raven. What's up, Mama? She's rocking out of head. All right, cool, y'all look great. And I've never been to a more beautiful Comic-Con, a con location. This is so awesome. So, a round of applause for Courtney for putting this together and her family. Woo! Yeah, and where's Courtney's dad? Is he in here? He picked me up at the airport, he's cool. Yeah, please, please. Alright, so we what's your name? I didn't even meet, get to meet oh, you. Oh, oh, hi, hi, I'm Anita. Hi, yeah, how you doing? Gregory, what's up? Nice yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and my um, introductions, this is my son, Wingman. He's the real life beast boy. Say hi to Wingman. Hi. <laughs> he comes with me everywhere. Yeah. Every business meeting, every recording session, every Comic Con. How old is he? What do you think? I can't tell. You can't, he's, eight. he's a very old, wise soul, ancient. I say he's as old as Mother Earth. And that's, when people ask me my age, that's my age as well, because I really feel like we're all connected to Earth, and that's the only true reality that I know, is that we are one with Earth, so I'm as old as Mother Earth. But if you want to put a number on it, we're both five. Okay, all right, cool. You stopped at five years old. All right, so I'm going to pull the focus over to the amazing Charlotte, who's sitting there, front and center, wearing an amazing raven cape, just for a special message, shout out from Greg, Beast Boy, over here to you. Are you ready? Uh, yo, what up, Mama Charlotte? I love you. It's all about my baby, yeah, it's all about baby. And if I don't cast my baby, all I do is go cray, cray, cray. Oh, I got the lyric wrong, though. It's all about my baby, yeah, it's all about Ray. And if I don't catch my baby, all I do is go cray, cray, cray. Who saw that episode? Isn't that funny how Raven made me uh, say the lyrics wrong? <laughs> that was funny, because that, that song I wrote and produced with my friend DJ Him, it's available on, online, you can, on iTunes and everything, but it's, it's a song that I pitched to Teen Titans Go and Warner Brothers Cartoon Network, and they took the song and they wrote a whole episode to the lyrics. I didn't even know what the episode was going to be about. They're just like, we're going to take the song, and we're going to do a two-part special to the song. And they wrote a whole episode to the lyrics, which the lyrics are weird and crazy, so that's why the episode turned out so wild and weird. Yeah, I kind of want to ask about that, because I love the musical component of Teen Titans Go. I mean... Uh, let's see, Night Begins to Shine is literally on my playlist in the remixed version of Night Begins to Shine. That's also out. Um, I love Fade Away. I mean, I loved, I think, like, All About the Beats. Like, there's always these random moments where you break out into song or dance and then come back to the moments. And I just love the, 
irrational, free-floating that's going on with that, even though clearly there's a lot of writing going on. So I was going to ask what other songs you contributed to Teen Titans Go. Well, even uh, in that B.B. Ray two-parter episode, I wrote the song, a country song in that episode called Don't Fiddle With It. If it ain't broke, don't fiddle with it. I wrote that country song. Um, I wrote Fade Away. Um, who knows the lyrics to Fade Away? Anyone? Oh, yeah? You can't fade away. The way I feel for you, there ain't no word I can say. What I do for you in every single day. You said you knew the lyrics. You do? By your side is where I'll be. What are you talking about? You're leaving me hanging here. Endless love won't fade, you'll see. When I walk, you walk with me. Together. <laughs> Nobody? Huh? Tara? That's the only lyric you know? All right, whatever. We're waiting for the chorus, you know. That was the chorus. <laughs> Don't fade away. <laughs> you can't fade away. You know it. Way up for you, there ain't no word I can say. What I do for you? No, that's a verse. Oh, man. By your side is where I'll be, and this level. That's the chorus. That's a really an inter interesting uh, story behind that song, because my friend, he's a homeless man named Rico. He helped me write that. Um, he moved on. But I live, I live in Venice Beach, um, and uh, a lot of, half of my friends are homeless. And um, one day I came out with my new puppy at the time, Mama Shadow, who just moved on. She was 16 years old the wingman's mama, and um, I walked out when Mama Shadow was this big, and uh, I had my guitar, and Rico goes, hey man, I got this, this lyric for you, because he knew I was a musician, and he sang this one part, it's like, sky is our blanket, this earth is our bed, if you don't know, you'll never be dead, oh sky la 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 la, yeah yeah, and then that, that I wrote Fade Away from that, so, Thank you, Rico. That is and Mama Shadow. And you do love giving back to the community. I mean, you are, I'm, I'm 